Okay, so sine of u plus v. Uh, what we're going to do is make this uh, sine of u cosine of v plus cosine of u sine of v. In the directions they give us, I'll circle the ones they give us, they give us this one, and they give us this one. Okay, so I'll write that below. Sine of u is negative 7 25ths. Cosine of v is negative 4 fifths. Okay, so now we need to figure out what cosine of u is and sine of v is. So what we're going to do is make two triangles, the u triangle and the v triangle. The u triangle is going to be based off the fact that we know that sine of u is negative 7 over 25. And the V triangle is going to be based off the fact that we know cosine of V is negative 4 fifths. Okay? Uh, the other piece of information from the directions for these problems is that both angles are in the second quadrant. Both are in the second quadrant. Okay? So, sine we know is Y over R. So that would mean the y value on this triangle is negative 7. The r value is 25. Pythagorean's theorem tells that this side must be negative 24. Okay, let's do the cosine v1. Uh, cosine is x, x over r, negative 4 over 5. That would make this negative 3, because Pythagorean's theorem, 5 squared, Minus 4 squared is 3 squared. So, uh, the, sine, uh, the cosine of u is negative 24 25 The sine of v is uh, negative 3 fifths. So now we can substitute these values back in. So they come back up. Negative 24 fifths for cosine, we got a plus sign here still, and for sine v is negative 3 fifths. Okay, and then we multiply, negative 7 times negative 4 is 28, negative 24 times negative 3, uh, can't do that in my head, is that 72? Yep, okay, so plus 72, all over 125. So you get 28 plus 72 is 100. Over 125. Quarter math. This is 4 quarters. This is 5 quarters. Your answer is 4 fifths for number 52.